While orange is the prominent color seen around road construction sites, the I-64 widening project in Hampton Roads is going green. In widening parts of Interstate 64, environmentally friendly processes and construction materials are being used in the form of recycled pavement. New lanes are being constructed using Cold Central Plant Recycling, or CCPR for short. CCPR uses reclaimed asphalt pavement, or RAP, created from the road millings of construction projects around the region. Unlike hot mix asphalt, more commonly used in road projects, CCPR is placed onto the roadway without using heat. To make the CCPR materials, wrap and fine stone aggregate are fed into a mobile mixing plant where the materials are bound together with foamed asphalt and cement, producing up to 220 tons of product per hour. During production, samples of the CCPR mix are tested continuously in a lab on site, as well as a VDOT lab off site to ensure the correct formula is achieved. To test the formula, a gyratory compactor kneads and compacts the mix to quickly make a test sample. Next, the mix is dispensed into dump trucks and hauled to the project site, where crews pave the CCPR on top of a drainage layer covering the sub-base layer of recycled crushed concrete, followed by roller compaction and density testing. In total, that's 18 inches of pavement foundation produced almost entirely of recycled materials. Millions of tons of wrap exist in stockpiles around the state. Using CCPR on this project helps deplete those stockpiles, while also reducing the overall cost of project materials and environmental impacts. Recycled pavement will be used again when reconstruction of the existing outside lanes begins. For these lanes, the pavement foundation will be created using a process called full depth reclamation. In full depth reclamation, the existing pavement foundation is pulverized and mixed with cement on site. The mixture is then recompacted into a sub-base layer for the roadway. Later in the construction process, CCPR will be used as a base layer again, covering the FDR layer.